Hi, Chili Heads, this is Luke to be. And today I'll be reviewing a very special sauce. Uh, what's really special about this one is that it's someone who actually brought it to me on my workplace. Uh, well, I was actually, you know, helping some customers out and eventually got to this guy, asked him if he needed help, and he said, hey, you're the guy that likes hot sauces? <laughs> so, of course, I said, yes, you know. And uh, he started talking to me about, uh, you know, himself being a, distributing a sauce uh, which is made by actually a teenager uh, out in Ontario. Uh, this young fellow wanted to know how to start a business and uh, his father being a businessman himself uh, helped him out, you know, they did some brainstorming and uh, eventually came out with the idea of, uh, you know, uh, producing a sauce that they were making at home, you know, it was a family recipe and uh, the kids wanted to, uh, you know, bring that sauce to the market because it was good. So, uh, of course, I went through all the process of creating a business, uh, you know, getting his sauces approved for uh, retail and everything, and came up with his, uh, so speak out, uh, his mules a sauce. So, uh, first, let me give you the ingredients in here, okay? So, we have, uh, you know, uh, ground chili paste, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, chili peppers, spices, and sugar. So, let's start this with a nice sniff. Ah, man. This smells so good. Mmm. A true, 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 all natural chili aroma. Smell a tiny bit of the vinegar. Reminds me when you open those big jars of uh, pickled uh, chilies, you know, the, the long ones. It's about the same kind of smell. Ah, it smells peppers, fresh peppers. Oh, smells so good. Mmm. Great aroma, great aroma. You smell the pepper. Doesn't seem to be any garlic in there at all. Anyway, I can't smell it. I'm just getting those peppers. Bit of the vinegar, bit of an oily uh, oily aroma too, but ah, so nice, so great, so fresh. I'm gonna give this a nine. It smells really, really good, really good. Okay, now let's go to step number two. As you can see, this is thick. Almost like a mash. Uh, very thick, some seeds, lots of pepper chunks. So let's go ahead and. Mmm. 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 Wow. I'm gonna have another. Mmm. This is so good. So, so good. Mm. Fresh peppers. All natural. There's vinegar in there, but it's not aggressive at all. Uh, it stays, you know, in the background. Uh, you're getting a full mild of chili flavor. Uh, oh, man. It's great. Great, 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 great. Love it. Just love this sauce. Totally awesome. Okay, so let's give it a try now on my traditional roast beef sandwich with on rye. Pour some on here. There we go. So, of course, as usual, I use only a little bit. Mmm. See now with the sandwich, the flavor of the vinegar actually almost completely disappears. It's really, it really stays in the background. You get that awesome, awesome chili flavor, which is uh, great. 
Here's a little bit more here. Just love the stuff. Whoa. Mmm. Awesome flavor. I'm getting those chilies right up front. Getting a bit of the, uh, just a bit of the oil and vinegar way back, you know, in the background. Hardly any uh, bitterness to it. No, not bitter at all. Actually pretty sweet. Mmm. Oh, great flavor. Great flavor. I'm going to have to give this a 9 for flavor as well. This is awesome, you know, a, a fresh chili flavor that, you know, just mm, fills your mouth. A great, great, great flavor. I love the texture. It's thick, so it allows me, you know, put a lot. Uh, I would, you know, put that on just about anything. Uh, red meat, chicken, pork, pizza. Of course, pasta is going to give, you know, instead of using those uh, chili flakes uh, all over your uh, spaghetti or lasagna or whatever, uh, you could use this. Oh, it has an awesome, awesome chili flavor. Uh, great, great, great flavor. I mean, I'm very impressed. I didn't expect that. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Uh, as of the heat, though, of course, it's very mild. Uh, I wouldn't go any higher than maybe a three for this. Uh, you know, it's hotter than Tabasco or Frank's Red Hot, but not that much hotter. So it would be, you know, for just anybody to use. Uh, you know, the usual Joe can just use a, a tiny bit of it if he finds it a little too hot. But I would say that, you know, a majority of people can actually use this freely on just about anything. Uh, so heat level, not more than three. Uh, it says on the jar, though, that, you know, over time, uh, the heat kind of builds in there. But uh, I would doubt that myself. Though, of course, uh, loving, you know, much hotter stuff. Uh, I can tell that this is, you know, still a pretty enjoyable. I can feel it a bit on my tongue. I can feel just a bit on my lips. But hardly. And, uh, you know, very, very great sauce. So I would recommend that to just anybody, you know, give that a try. It's a great sauce. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. So until then, take care and bye-bye.